easy, it's very fun. And also um, working with Ascended Masters. We have uh, many Ascended Masters um, such as Mother Mary, Jesus, Kuan Yin, the Buddha, uh, the, all the uh, prophets from various religions um, who are here to assist us. Uh, we need not be afraid of Ascended Masters to know that Ascended Masters are here to support us, to help us. They have tremendous love for humanity and uh, it can be very easy to connect with them. Also working with the energy of um, God. I also teach um, Theta Healing, uh, which was founded by Vianna Steibel in the United States. Vianna Steibel uh, had uh, terminal cancer and uh, was guided to ask God to help her. And as uh, her medical reports indicate, Vianna was healed instantly by God. And it is my pleasure to teach Theta Healing internationally. And I have so much gratitude for Vianna Steibel for being one of my mentors. Um, I teach basic DNA Theta Healing and that is an energy working directly with God. It is open to people of all religions and spiritual traditions. Anyone can learn Theta Healing. It's very powerful for physical, mental, emotional, spiritual healing. It can be used uh, by people for every area of their life. It's an amazing class. I also teach the Advanced uh, DNA Theta Healing, which works with uh, bringing in over 500 uh, qualities which are called downloads from God and which is a life-changing course. I also teach Manifesting in Abundance with Theta Healing which is a two-day course which is very very powerful and uh, I'm so so grateful. I also am in Hawaii at the moment with one of uh, the people who I consider a mentor Doreen Virtue and will soon be uh, certified to be an angel therapy practitioner. And I'm so grateful to Doreen Virtue uh, for all her work. And uh, this is her last ATP class in person in her lifetime. And so I was so honored to be part of this class in uh, beautiful Kona. And the people in Kona have been so, so wonderful. And it's been a pleasure to work with people uh, from all parts of the world. I also um, teach a lot of other workshops uh, internationally. My style is to um, assist people to know that uh, working with uh, God and the angels is very natural, it's very fun, that anyone can do the work. It's uh, my pleasure to teach people of all ages, from children to adults, and uh, in my shamanic practice, I'm also trained to work with corporations, to clear space and land internationally, and to do group healings for large numbers of people at one time. Um, I feel my special gift is working with people to uh, help them know that they are divine, that they're powerful, that they're intuitive, that everything that I have, that they also have. To know that we all have that connection, to know that we're all very powerful. And teaching people to just tap into simple uh, first steps to more advanced work and um, to know that we're all connected. My ancestry comes from India and Iran. I was born and raised in Uganda, East Africa. I come from a family of philanthropists. So I was always brought up to be of service. And uh, when I came to Canada as a refugee with um, very little resources, my family had to start all over. Um, we had no place to live. We had no food. We had nothing. And we knew that just connecting with God and helping ourselves and being of service that we were able to make a life in Canada. So that experience also taught me how to work with uh, hardship, to know that we're all connected and to um, work with bringing in positive energy and to be of assistance. Um, 
I also found that in the 14 years that I worked in a hospital that I saw many things from uh, people with major illnesses to minor illnesses and those years in the hospital setting taught me values of uh, compassion, love, forgiveness, um, to work uh, with joy, to connect to life purpose, to know that when we're on our life purpose that there is much joy in that. So there were many lessons in those years and I'm so, so grateful. Working in the hospital also taught me to be grateful for everything. The ability to breathe, to walk, to talk, to be able to use my arms and legs, to be able to digest food. Those 14 years taught me never to take anything for granted, that there are those people who do not have those gifts. So for those of us who have that, to be grateful, and much uh, joy can come from that. I also was very grateful for um, my ethnic uh, background because coming from um, so many different ethnicities also showed me that we're all one. That um, my grandfather, my mother's father, Qasem Jamal Kamani, who um, was awarded many awards by King George uh, for his work internationally, uh, believed in assisting people of all races and religions uh, in a time when it was not popular, in a time that it was not trendy to be a feminist. So he passed before I was born, but he definitely left a legacy behind to be able to assist people and to be of service, to know that those boundaries of race and religion and place of birth, the ethnicity, those are illusions that we're all one. And if this uh, world is to be a better place, that as soon as we know that we are divine, that we come with a special gift, that all of us come with a wonderful life purpose, and we come from all parts of the world for a reason, that diversity is a strength, that pluralism is an asset. Those differences uh, that we have are a joy, that they're to be celebrated, not just tolerated. I find also that um, my spiritual um, um, teachings from uh, one of my um, teachers, I am an Ismaili Muslim, has also shown me the qualities of uh, being a volunteer to give back to society uh, in all ways, to help other people from other religions and traditions, which has been an asset also for me that uh, I have been a student of that. And I'm so, so grateful for my connection to that lineage, which is a lineage uh, going back to the time of the Prophet Muhammad. When I understand that one quarter of the world's population is Muslim, and I understand that as we learn more about Islam, that we understand that Muslims come from over 40 countries internationally, from all languages and all ethnicities, that soon we lose the fear of uh, Muslims, that we know that we're all connected. I look forward for, uh, to those days when we know as much about Islam as we know about Judaism and Christianity, when all the walls are gone, to know that we are all part of one big earth, that we're part of one big family. It is my wish, and that is why I do the, the work. And uh, as uh, we get closer to 2012, I notice that um, we're getting more spiritual. We also know um, from my Indian tradition in the Vedic times that um, the elders spoke of the time when there would be world peace. And I know in my heart that that time is coming when the Satyug, which is the time, the thousand year era of peace is um, soon to come. So I so look forward to seeing that and to know that that is there. I'm also so grateful to make Vancouver, Canada my home. And I also respect the First Nations traditions that um, are there on that land. 
to honor my roots there uh, and the invitation from those peoples to move to their land. And I also um, say thanks to all my elders there, my teachers from the First Nations traditions, um, also my teachers from all of my lineages, and to know that um, we can always ask for help, that uh, when we isolate ourselves, that uh, we do um, ourselves and others a disservice. So um, the lessons I would share are um, just uh, forgiveness, compassion, working with love, living life with purpose, to know that offer help and ask for help when you need it, to know that we're all connected to God. Many blessings. It's my pleasure to share this time with you. I send you all lots of love and light. Thank you.